The Russian-born, turn-of-the-century theater practitioner Vesevyolod Meyerhold explored theater as a kinesthetic spectacle where an actor understood the inner and outer rhythm of a character. Meyerhold was a contemporary of Stanislavski and Chekhov. His ideas were influenced by the musicality of Chekhov's plays and by the intensive actor training he undertook in the Moscow Arts Theater under Stanislavski's wing. He thought that the theatre should not mirror reality, instead that it should transcend the everyday by deliberately exaggerating and distorting it through stylized theatrical techniques. Often Meyerhold and Stanislavski are presented as advocating two vastly opposed systems for training actors. However, both were concerned with releasing the actor's emotional and expressional potential, only using different means. Meyerhold wanted to create a new theatre for a new era, and he was one of the most enthusiastic activists in the new Soviet theatre. He joined the Bolshevik party in 1918 and tried to radicalise Russian theatres, effectively nationalising them under Bolshevik control. Meyerhold advocated the use of dance and physical movement, which he believed would help with the development of the actor's awareness of their body, as this was of prime concern, thus finding means of expression through actions. He went on to call this style of preparing and performing biomechanics. Biomechanics is a series of exercises to develop and release the emotional potential of the actor through movement. in the press conference rag. Notice how his mouth never moves. Almost. Where'd you come from? Mississippi. And your parents? Very wealthy. Where are they now? Six feet under. But she was granted one more start. The convent of the sacred heart. When'd you get here? 1920. Were you? Don't remember. Then what happened? I met a mess and he stole my heart away. Convinced me to elope one day. Oh, poor dear, I can't believe what you've been through. A convent girl, a runaway marriage. Now tell us, Roxy, who's Fred Casely? My ex-boyfriend. Why'd you shoot him? I was leaving. Was he angry? Like a madman. Still, I said, Fred, move along. She knew that she was doing wrong. Then describe it. 
he came toward me with a pistol from my bureau. Did you fight him like a tiger? He had strength and she had none. And yet we both reached for the gun. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, we both, oh yes, we both, oh yes, we both reached for the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun. Oh yes, we both reached for the gun, for the gun. Understandable, understandable, yes, it's perfectly understandable, comprehensible, comprehensible, not a bit reprehensible, it's so defensible. How you feeling? Very frightened. Are you sorry? Are you kidding? All I'd say is, though my choo-choo jump the track, I'd give my life to bring him back. And Stay away from what? jazz and liquor. And, and the men who what? play for fun. And what? That's the thought that yeah. came upon me when? when we both reached for the gun. Understandable, understandable. Yes, it's perfectly understandable. Comprehensible, comprehensible, not a bit reprehensible, it's so defensive.